everybody, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I thought I would do a little Q&A because I have a life update. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, you will not know that me and Josh are moving back in together. So, yes, obviously there was a lot of questions on my Instagram. I did it anonymously because I felt like there were more juicy ones than there would be. You know what it's like. People can't say things to your face. It's fine. I don't care. <laughs> So, so I've got a few questions. I did a little question thing on TikTok as well, but I said like, if you do want to ask anonymous questions, then follow my Instagram. So um, there was a few questions on TikTok, but not many for obvious reasons. So let's get started. I'm hoping I will, uh, wearing these mics will drown out the background noise because I've got the fan on and I've got the windows open. It is so hot today, which is weird because it's been raining all week. So. It's just fucking typical, isn't it? Uh, I've made it iced coffee this morning, put hazelnut uh, syrup in it. It's not very nice. I think I don't like hazelnut. <laughs> I thought I would, but I just do not. <laughs> like, yeah, that's disgusting. I'm really good. I think I might have to go to Costa or Starbucks or something like that and get, get a real one in a bit. Anyway, so somebody's put, someone's asked, why did you break up in the first place? So, and what made you get back together? So I feel like we've touched on this because me and Josh did a Q and A ages ago now, or I want to say maybe either early this year or late last year now. So we probably touched on this then. Um, so I'm not going to say too much and make it all about that, but basically just we broke up in the, fir the first time. I think what it was, it was just, we was under a lot of stress and I think you know, with planning a wedding and things like that, um, it was very stressful. And obviously money comes into it a lot. We didn't have a lot of money because we were putting all of our money into the wedding. And it was very, very stressful and things like that. And if I've ever planned a wedding, it's one of them things where you'll <laughs> make or break you. Honestly, it was horrendous planning a wedding. I would not recommend it to anyone. <laughs> I really wouldn't. Like, it's probably worth it on the day, but it's just, it's a lot of stress, a lot of money and a lot of pressure. Um, so I think that didn't come to account of it. And I think like it came to about August time in 2022 and I was kind of like, enough's enough. You know, we're kind of, I felt like we were kind of roommates and things like that. I felt like we couldn't speak to each other anymore. I felt like that enough was enough. And I felt like I had to put a stop to this and think, you know what? let's just be apart for a bit see what happens and go from there really and i think it definitely made us stronger obviously living together and living apart is obviously two different things so we'll see when we do live together again um but yeah what made you get back together so it's funny actually i don't know if i've ever told you this story but if i have i'm gonna tell you again um <laughs> I think I did actually touch on this before though, but basically what has happened is if you don't know, I have epilepsy. So I used to be able to drive. I drove for, it would have been six years this year. And so obviously I could drive with myself around, have my own car, blah, blah, whatever, all that stuff. And what had happened is Josh had messaged me. We, we hadn't spoken for about a month, I think at this point, which is quite long because we broke up in August. Uh, so it's not that long when you think about it, <laughs> but whatever, I won't go into that. Um, so yeah, we, he messaged me or texted me or something like that saying like, have I just seen you driving around or something like that? I can't remember what he exactly said now. I just had text and I was like, and it's funny because I remember, remember his number. I don't know why I know his number. It's the only number I know. Very strange. I don't know why or whatever. And I was a bit like, do I message back? Do I not? So I didn't message back. I left it. And I knew that day that if he hadn't seen me because I was at home all day, I'd just come back. Uh, I think I was on, I was at work like four shifts in a row, four 12 hour shifts. And I had three days off or four days off, whatever it was. So I was like recuperating. I was just chilling in the flat. I, I didn't go out all day. So I knew he hadn't seen me. So I knew I was just a little excuse to try and get me. Apparently he had the same, they had the same car as me. Apparently there's a blonde girl in the car. I don't know. We think we, we, we know that it was just an excuse. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm hoping the camera angle hasn't changed. I accidentally dropped, I accidentally kicked the 
the tripod. So I'm hoping the camera angle hasn't changed, but okay. And so yeah, so I knew he hadn't seen me. So I thought, and you know, I think it was like on a Friday or something like that. So I thought by all weekend, I was like, do I message, do I not? It got to like Sunday night and I was like, fuck it, let's just message him. So I messaged him back saying like, no, it weren't me. I hadn't been out all day that day or whatever. And he was like, oh, I actually thought it was you. And I was like, no, it wasn't me. Anyway, then you get on to talking and you catch up, don't you? You know, this person, he was in my life for, at that point, seven years. So at that point, it's like going from seven years to talking, obviously, every single day. When we first got together, I was 17. And it was a bit like one of them things where when we first got together, that was it. Like, no, it's funny because, like, when we first met, we... <laughs> this is going to be too much for um, YouTube. But when we first met, we wasn't planning on being together. We were planning on just for one time only thing. <laughs> I don't know how much I can say. I was 17. You're thinking I'm hot. I'm like a, something I can't say either. Cause, but, you know, you're going to think wrong things about me. But, yeah. Um, so, yeah, we weren't planning on being together. And then ever since then, we just never was apart. Do you know what I mean? Like, we, you know, when I worked, he worked at co-op and stuff like that. I worked at body care at the time. We were you know, he was picking me up from work, so at that time I didn't drive, so, you know, all this stuff, you know, he would pick me up from work, he would take me home, he would do all this, you know, like, he, we were constantly together, we were doing stuff, you know what I mean, we were constantly together, just constantly together, then obviously when we moved out together in 20, 2019, then obviously that's, again, constantly, not constantly together, because obviously you live together at that point, but obviously you got your own lives, you're, you're both working, at this point I was working at co-op, so very different shifts to when I was working at body care, and so, I think at that point you just go like, oh yeah, so what have you been up to then? And then catching up and stuff like that, all that stuff. Anyway, the next day I then had my seizure. So obviously to the people who, i.e. his family and stuff like that, like I'm not going to start bitching about his family on the internet, like <laughs> that's not how it works. But I don't want people like his family to think that we're only back together because Caitlin just needed the car, you know, like she wanted to use him for his personal taxi. That's not how it works. Josh knows, I know, I'm an independent lady. I don't need no man taking me around anywhere. Like I'm independent, do you know what I mean? Like I want to go to Aldi the other day. With Josh, he was here. I could have asked him to take me. I was like, Josh, I'm going to Aldi. He was like, I'm not going to sit here on my own in your flat, Kate. And I was like, we can come for a walk then, babes, but I'm not getting in your car and driving because I don't want you to be my personal taxi. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, I'm an independent lady. And I think because as, as well, if you, I think as well, if you don't, have never driven before, never had your own car and things like that, then you'll never understand the most annoying thing is when people don't drive, they expect everyone that does drive to just drive them around because they don't drive. I, and, and obviously, because I've driven, I was driven, I was driving for five years. Then I know that how annoying that is, and I don't want him to think that like, I'm just using him for my personal taxi. Like I get it. Like obviously, he is my boyfriend. He doesn't mind, but it's just for my pride. You know what I mean? Like I was driving for five years, and that's just been taken away just like that. And it's just like I don't want him. So yeah. So I've always said like. I've always like, you know, wanted to make it clear to his family and stuff like that. That's not the reason why we got back together. I didn't want him to my personal taxi, but obviously because it was very close and no one obviously knew at the time we were talking, then it was a bit like, it's just so weird. Like the night before, everything, I think everything happens for a reason. And clearly that was it. And I just think it's crazy. So that's a little background story of uh, Josh and Caitlin. <laughs> it's been a while, do you know what I mean? Um, so someone's put, what are you looking forward to the most about moving back in together? So do you know what? I don't know. I don't know. So it's going to be, um, I think there's another question of here to it's gonna kind of overlap this one that, that someone's asked, what bedroom is it? And is it a house or a flat or whatever? Uh, we're moving into a three bedroom house. Um, the bedrooms are quite small. Well, no, the two bedrooms are quite big. The last bedroom is quite small. It's probably the size of like a, a study room or whatever, an, or an office, whatever the word is. Um, so it's a bit small, but it's good for like a little spare bedroom. The second bedroom would be his gaming room. And then our bedroom is obviously our bedroom. 
um, and stuff like that, really. So, yeah, so I think the most thing I'm looking forward to the most is having that space again where, like, obviously, I have my own flat, do you know what I mean? Like, you've got the space, but it's not enough, do you know what I mean? Like, I've got my living room and my kitchen, do you know what I mean? Like, they're very close together, so I can't wait just to have that space where I've got space and I've got cupboard space and stuff like that and have my own, like, protein cupboard and, oh, I just can't wait for things like that. I'm just so excited. And I want a coffee machine because I want to get into my iced coffees more. And I think having a coffee machine will help that. And I've been eye on one that I would like so much. And it's on offer at the moment. But I'm like, I don't want to spend any money until we're in there. Because, yeah, it's just, you know, what moving is like, it's stressful. It, it costs money. So I don't want to spend any money unless, obviously, I have to eat food and that. Or electric and stuff before I move. Because, yeah, so it's on offer, which is really annoying. So I keep looking at it every day, like, do I buy it, do I not? But I'm like, no, leave it. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be it's exciting, it's stressful at the same time. So I think that's the most thing I'm looking forward to, is just having that space again, really. But it's funny, because in every single flat and house we've had, I've always had this envision of where I put stuff and what I would buy and things like that. This one... I just don't know. Like upstairs, I think it's easy. Like I know how I'd do my bedroom. I know how I'd do my, obviously his gamer room. Yeah. And the spare bedroom. But downstairs in the living room, it's so big. I just don't know what to do with the space. I don't know. I suppose when I get in there, it'd be different. And you can put your furniture and stuff there. But I just don't want to do with it. I'm just a bit like, what do I do? But I suppose you get, you get in there and you do it, don't you? So yeah. I'm just excited um someone's asked are you nervous or worried so i i am i am nervous and worried purely for the fact of because we this will be the first time i feel like i'm talking this but it's the same situation a lot now but this will be the first time we've i've obviously moved since not being able to drive and i felt like i've had this like routine now where i've got a really good routine i know what buses to get on what certain time shifts i do i know that you know all this stuff like i feel like i've got a really good routine with the buses and and now that's all kind of down the drain again because i have to start from square one obviously josh can take me here and there when he can but he works full time himself he's not my personal taxi do you know what i mean so i am very nervous and worried and the bus times around the area that we are going to be living in are very they're not great. And taxis really scare me. Um, so I don't know what I'm going to do about that, to be honest. I, um, yeah, it's just a bit of a shame, really. Um, but it's one of them. I think everything happens for a reason. So I know I'll get the hang of it eventually. But it's just, it's a lot to think about straight away. Do you know what I mean? Obviously, you have to live there and move in straight away. And you're just thinking about all these things. And you're like, I don't know what to do first. And then you kind of have to go back to your normal routine and it's like hard because you're living in a different area and obviously like i said like when you're driving it's different you can get in your car and go wherever you need to go but buses and relying on people and stuff like that is just hard so i am only for that reason i am nervous i'm worried not for anything else just just having a routine again is, it's going to be hard but we'll do it for sure Someone's put, will you be moving into a new place or where, or where one of you is already living? So we already, so obviously I've already talked about this. Obviously we're living in a three bedroom house now, which is obviously separate. So we're moving into a new place is what I'm trying to say. So we did think about moving into one of our places before. We would never be able to move here. It's too small. So if we were going to move into one of our places, it would have been Josh's because he lives in a two bed flat. But purely, I said this, I said, I don't see the point of moving for a few months or whatever to then having to move again. Because obviously, I'm not going to lie, living in a flat with two people is hard enough, I think. And I just think there's just not enough space for two people. And his flat's quite big, but I just think like for the extra, I know it's a couple of hundred pounds, but I'd rather just live in a house with two people than a flat with two people, if that makes sense. And I think I don't really want to be moving to then having to move again. I just think at least we've got a three bedroom house. This will be for a while now. Um, and yeah, I just think that that's for the best really. So that's what we did. Cause you know, Josh's family did actually suggest that. And we were kind of like, no, 
I don't think it's worked for us having to move addresses and things like that or for a few months or whatever, maybe a year at max. I just don't see the point. So, and oh, it's just stressful moving. I don't want to do it again, like anytime soon. Do you know what I mean? Like <laughs> this is the fourth time I've moved in, in five years. It's stressful enough. <laughs> um, so yeah. Someone put, how are you feeling about moving in together again? So I feel like I kind of touched on this as well. They're very, very samey, samey questions um but yeah I feel good honestly I'm excited I'm excited to get new things I'm excited to get I mean obviously we're going to keep a lot of stuff we don't need a lot of new stuff but there is a bit, few bits and bobs that I do want and I have got a wish list for which I might actually share on TikTok I don't know but yeah so I'm, no, I'm nervous just for the buses really and having that routine again but I like the area that we're going to be moving in I like that it's close to like I'm not going to say, I don't want to say actually all the, I'm not going to list off where it's close to because people that live in my area will know where I live. <laughs> so I don't want to list it off too much, but basically it's going to be close to, very much close to uh, like the supermarkets that I need and stuff like that. It's, it's a, uh, and to be honest, it's not far away from a nice walkway. The only trouble is, I'm going to be very sad because it's quite far away from my gym. So, and the gyms around there aren't the best. So I don't really know what to do about my gym situation. I don't know if I'm just going to get a walking pad and just do that. And then just get my walk, my steps in on the days that it's actually nice and not raining. Um, or do I just try and go with Josh? Because obviously it's hard to go with Josh because of the shifts that we do. They're very much... We can do it on the days he does 10 till 6s. But when he's on 2 till 10s, I still do like 3 to 4 earlys a week. And then he only does like obviously 5 3 till 10s. So I suppose we could go on the weekends and stuff. And we could do that, but I don't know. So I think we might try on the gym for a bit, see what happens. And if it doesn't work, then I'll cancel it. And then I'll just do some home workouts and stuff and get some weights at home and whatnot. But um, I, I, like, I, just, I like going to the gym. So I hope I get to stick to go to the gym, but we'll see. Um, because, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see um someone's asked is it the exact same flat that you moved into on your own that you and josh lived in so that's actually really funny that you must have been following me for a very long time because me and josh moved out together in 2019 which was obviously a long time ago so that's crazy so thank you so much for staying with me <laughs> so it's not the exact same flat it's the exact same building but um yeah it's not the exact same flat um i think our flat that we first lived in because even though it's still a one bed small flat, because they're, the building's shaped so weirdly and shaped so different, then the flat that we lived in previously here was a bit bigger than this where I'm in now, just because the building's shaped funny and there's a pillar that would have been where Josh's gaming setup was and stuff. So I do think like, yeah, it was a bit bigger and the bedroom was a bit bigger as well. Um, even though it was like, obviously it's, it's not well similar price because obviously the price has gone up now, but um, yeah. So not the exact same flat, but the exact same building we'll say. Oh God, I am tired today. Someone asked, are you buying a house together? God, uh, no, we're not buying a house. We've spoken about buying a house before actually, many moons ago. And I don't know, I just feel like, you know, like I just don't think it's right for us. Maybe one day, who knows? Obviously, like everything happens for a reason. But I think right now, right, buying a house just isn't for us. You know what I mean? Like, I just don't think, you know, it's in our thing at the moment. But, you know, you never know. I'm not going to say never say never. But who knows? We'll just, we'll just say. But no, we're not buying a house together. Um, someone's asked, are you worried about living together again? I feel like I've already touched on this. So I'm not going to say that again. Uh, someone's asked, what made you decide it was time to move back in together? I like this question. I actually do like this question. So basically, as you know, I am 26 and Josh is, well, you probably don't know, but I'm 26. Josh is 28. Obviously, um, I'm not saying you, the time is ticking. And I'm not saying I'm going to rush into anything. You know, I'm technically still young and stuff like that. But what I will say is obviously, you know, last year was kind of a funny year, you know, being diagnosed with epilepsy, 
a lot had happened last year, which obviously I'm not going to say on the internet, but a lot of personal things happened last year and stuff. And it was a very, very shit and a strange year. And yeah. And I felt like this year has been a lot, a, a lot better. You know, I felt like I finally fell into routines with things and, you know, I lost the weight I wanted to lose finally. And I feel like it's, it's been a, it's been a nice year. So I did say to Josh, like either the start of the year or like March time, I was a bit like, well, one day I do want to move in together. Like, obviously I was planning on being more like next year, to be honest, but we started looking into like, just looking really into houses, seeing what the price range was and then going from there really. Cause I'm going to probably, I'm going to say how much I pay for my rent right now because I don't care at the end of the day, I'm moving out anyway. I'm gonna say, I'll tell you, I think, I don't know how much Josh pays exactly, so this is just a rough estimate of what he pays. But I think all in all, we both, so he has a two bed flat with the council. I have a one bed flat with private. I pay 525 for mine. He pays about 500-ish. I don't know how much it is exactly. We'll say 500. So I said, it's a thousand pounds straight away. Um, and we were just looking to see, and that's just obviously just on rent. Obviously other things would be separate and stuff like that and whatever. So we've always said like, like, yeah, it would be cheaper to move back in together and stuff like that. But when the time's right, the time's right. And obviously, like I said, I feel like everything happens for a reason. So we, I was looking, I'd say like, yeah, May time, June, yeah, probably about May time-ish, maybe probably. Just looking, see how much stuff was, seeing how much a three bed house was, because we didn't want to go back into a two bed, we wouldn't go for a three, just because then we wouldn't have to move for ages. <laughs> I hope anyway. <laughs> So we were looking and we were going, oh my God, the house prices are extreme. I was thinking like, how are we going to do this? And then this, this house, obviously we're going for now, um, it came up and we were like, you're not a bad price. So we inquired it and, and seen what happened from there. It was very back and forth for ages. It was very like, we looked at this, first looked at this house in the end of June time and we're only just getting it now at the end well it'd be the end of september when we move so obviously it's a very long time since we've inquired it to now um and i was hoping that it would fall on the week that we were both off but unfortunately it didn't but that's fine it is what it is do you know what i mean um so yeah so but yeah so that was it really the house wasn't in the best condition when we first looked at it there was a lot of work to needed to be done because clearly the last tenants weren't the best people to look after things i don't know it, it wasn't in the best condition we'll just say that for a fact so they just told us work will be done we didn't know what work was going to be done so we kind of just dropped out and was like no we're not going to go for it we don't want to risk it anyway they came back to us and said like look it's being redone now do you want to go and have a look and we were like yeah okay it looked really nice. It was up to our standards. You know, you pay a lot of money for private renting anyway, don't you? So we were like, yeah, that's fine. So we went for it. And then because we've obviously got a few months notice on both of our flats, he was a bit like, well, it's been, it's been empty for ages. So we're going to say no. And we were like, that's fine. We're not desperate to move. Do you know what I mean? Like, I feel like, like I said, everything happens for a reason. We're not desperate to move. If we moved, then great. If we don't, it's not the end of the world. We was a bit gutted, but we thought it is what it is. Do you know what I mean? So anyway, when they came back to us and we were like, they were like, yeah, the landlord said like, do you want to still go for it? And we were like, okay, because everything has to be a reason. <laughs> so here we are. And that's that really, that is the story of the house note. Um, so it was one of them things where we were kind of like, we knew one day, obviously we don't want to live apart forever um so yeah we were just we were just kind of looking we weren't really actively trying to find a place and i think yeah and it's just weird because the same weekend that we move is the same weekend we moved when we first moved into our house it, um it back in 20 2020 and it's the same weekend i moved on my own in this place back in 2022 so i just think that's so weird as well so weird so it's a bit scary a bit spooky and you know what's even weirder as well which i will say is that i booked this weekend off for ages that it was like start of the year i booked it off i booked a random weekend off i only had a little bit of holiday left and i thought 
I don't mind having the weekend off. You know, Josh is off every weekend. I work in retail. So it's like, oh, we'll just probably do something that day or that weekend or whatever. Great call sorted. It's the same weekend we moved. How weird is that? How weird is that? It was like in the start. And little did I know that a couple months later, we'd be moving. Crazy. Just crazy. So that is very scary. <laughs> um, right. So let's have a look. So somebody put, well, I missed this. I clear. Well, let's start this again. Someone put, well, I clearly missed this. You're moving. How exciting. Good luck. Are you and Josh moving in together again? Um, but yeah, I would say hello. I don't know who you are. So hello. <laughs> I hope I know you. <laughs> um, thanks for the question. Uh, yes, we are moving back in together again. And yeah, I feel like that's, that's all needs to be said with that one. <laughs> so someone's put, how do your family and friends feel about you moving back in together? So my friends seem very happy about it, to be honest. Um, my one friend, she's um, in her 40s. She's always said to me, Caitlin, it's your life. You do whatever you want. She's one of them. She's just one of them people that would never judge me. And she's kind of supported me through everything. <laughs> Bless her heart. Um, and she's, yeah, said to me, like, do what you got to do, Caitlin. If you want to move, you move. And I just feel like, yeah, the rest of my friends have been very supportive. They've been happy about it. And yeah, I feel like it's a good thing. Family-wise, my family have a lot going on. Um, I've never spoke this about this online because I feel like it's not really my stuff to say. But my parents got, well, my parents are split now. They are split. They split up last year. So um, they kind of have their own worries to worry about. So when me and Josh, like, of, you know officially came out as getting back together and stuff like that then it, they kind of had their own worries to worry about so it was kind of one of them things where my parents have never really been that much involved because they've got all their shit going on so my parents they're kind of like yeah okay you do you babes and i'm like okay cool so they're not really that bothered um it's more josh's family that are bothered more than mine but that's fine it's one of them isn't it and it's what it is so um yeah but yeah but I think other than that, I think, you know, you just got to do what you got to do. Do you know what I mean? If you want to do it, it's your life at the end of the day. You, you can't really think about other people's opinions, can you? So, yeah. Um, but I think 90%, I'd say, are happy for us. Well, that's the main thing, isn't it? <laughs> I think this is the last question now. So on TikTok, someone's put, have you bought a new build? We haven't bought a new build, but... The house has obviously recently been done up, so it does look quite nice and very smart and very, like, neutral and stuff. So, um, yeah, but we have not bought a new build. And then somebody just asked, "Do uh, is it closer to work? It's not closer to my work. I think I already said this in the video. But, um, yeah, it's one of them. Um... I didn't really want something that was closer to work really because at the end of the day, I don't really want to stay in the job that I'm in because it's not something I want to do and stuff like that. So I think once I'm settled, got, got into a routine again, I'm going to just hopefully get something that is closer to me um, and go from there really. So I, that's why I wasn't really that bothered. If I, if I was in a career that I would love to stay in my work and stuff like that, then I probably would move closer to work, but because I know that I don't want to be there forever, then it's kind of one of them things. Um, I just want something with better hours, really. Get into a routine more. Um, but yes. But yes, I um, do have an epilepsy update for you all as well very soon. I know a very, very random topic to talk about now. But so I want to talk to you all about it soon because I have some good news and I'm so excited to tell you all. Well, I hope it's good news. I hope it stays as good news anyway. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Thank you to the people that uh, asked all me them questions. I really, really appreciate it. Please like and subscribe. Please comment down below what you want to see next. I haven't started doing moving vlogs actually because I did moving vlogs last year, last time I moved and I felt like it was so boring. So I've just been packing up my flat really and just not really, you know, not really filming anything or anything like that. Um, so I'm sorry if you did want to see moving vlogs, but I will probably do an empty house tour. 
with a new house and then obviously when it's finished and when it's actually nice enough to show on youtube then i probably will be showing that as well um but yeah i think that's it so i hope you all enjoyed and i'll speak to you all soon